Think ThingLink. Have you ever watched a student use a website for the first time? They don't just read the text presented to them and stop. They explore the site. Truly, this is what we want our students to do. Find out everything they can about a topic from trusted sources. When you have a lesson that should lead students to particular things to explore, ThingLink is exactly what you need. ThingLink.com is a free website that allows you to turn an image into a source of embedded links that enhance the information presented through the image. First, let's see how ThingLink works, and then we'll see a number of different ways to use it in the classroom. To use ThingLink, you simply create an account, which requires only an email address and a password, and then choose your image. Make sure that if you choose an image from the internet that it is legal to use. For instance, this image is from the Library of Congress. Another good source is the Wikimedia Commons site, which has a wealth of public domain media to use. Once you have chosen your image, you can begin tagging it with relevant information. All you have to do is click on the portion of the image you would like to display the information, change the size and location as necessary, and then enter the information you would like to display. In addition to just typing text and adding links to websites, you can record audio to accompany the link to a site, video, map, etc. You can make as many tags on an image as you'd like. Once you are finished tagging the image, save and share it. Choose your method or just use the actual link at the bottom. You can also choose to embed it on a blog or website by copying and pasting the HTML. This way, kids can either come to the actual site to see the image or they can just use it through your blog or website. There are many possibilities for ways to use ThingLink in the classroom. At the beginning of the year, have students upload avatar images of themselves and tag the images with various pieces of information that help others get to know them better. One obvious way is to use the interactive image while displaying it on an interactive whiteboard during independent center time with students. You could also use it as a class activity in which each student could tag something in an image after reading about a specific aspect of it. For instance, each student might have a particular topic to read about during a solar system unit and tag the class image with text and a link to relevant information. You'd then have a very rich piece of media displaying what students have learned independently and from each other about the topic. Students could tag an image of a math illustration with recordings explaining how to do the specific process or link videos others have done describing the process. Students could use a map image of a country, state, etc. and identify important things about the location and link to relevant topics like current weather, history, important places, etc. As you can see, using ThingLink is a super simple way to make a topic more interactive for students who often learn best by exploring. Let ThingLink be their method of being exploratory learners. Think ThingLink.